What's up everybody, Courtney Morris, Natural Wellness Physiotherapy. Uh, this week we are going to progress some of our posterior shoulder stability. Uh, I went to a course this week uh, uh, for some uh, rock tape cupping and I, uh, our instructor there was uh, Jen Dieter, who's a five times uh, CrossFit Masters athlete. Um, and so when you have that kind of physical therapist that is um, instructing on your class, you ask them about your own dysfunction. And for me, my own dysfunction is posterior shoulder, like I just completely lack this range of motion. So let's first do this, this little rotation test for you, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck our thumbs into our hands, and then what we want to do is we want to see how closely we can get these two together, okay? So we'll do this side, and you might do it one or two times, no cheating and inching your way up there, and then try both sides. And you'll see on mine in particular, oh, uh -oh you yep, know, two miles away, right? Ideally, we want this within the length of your hand, right? So this one, I have a real issue. And so I was asking uh, Jen, I was like, what can we do to help on this? And she's like, well, I think that you have a little bit of a posterior shoulder weakness and you're dumping out the front. That's common for a lot of my athletes. So if doing crossover symmetry and those types of things aren't cutting it, if you're still lacking some stability back here, this is what I want you to experiment. And experiment with me. We're gonna do this over the next couple of weeks and then we're gonna check back because I want to see how it works for both of us, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do what, what's called these black burn exercises. Griffin here is going to demonstrate as well too. He's got some of his own shoulder junk, so he's going to work on these as well, okay? So the very first one that we're going to do is we're going to have your palms out to the side. And what we want to do is we want to create these long isometric holds, okay? Jen suggested we start with 10 second holds. Um, she said eventually she's progressed up to 20 seconds hold. But what we're looking for is we're looking to really wear out these muscles and create some real endurance issues here. And you might start seeing some shaking and some different difficulty here. So we'll hold this position here between six and 20 seconds, okay? We don't have to do a lot of reps. This is just a, an endurance activity. Cool. Then we'll do the same thing with your thumbs up. We're really working on recruiting these middle and lower trap fibers, these big shoulder stabilizers back here on the posterior side. Right away on this on his weekend side, I can start feeling it shaking a little bit already. <laughs> cool. The next position that we're going to do is we're going to kind of do this Y shape. We're going to pull it up through here. Very nice. It's important to note when you're here. Kind of keep your head down, keep your core braced, keep everything nice and tight through here. Good. Nice long holds in there. Then we'll do the same thing with your thumb up. Good. Right away, I can feel this right side kind of shaking and working really hard for Griffin. Um, the other ones that we're going to do are. This kind of 90 degrees, like you're a, a football goal post, also having your thumbs up there, squeezing those shoulder blades together hard, right in through there. And we can see a little bit of asymmetry here where this side elevates a little bit higher than this dominant side, okay? So again, six to 20 seconds there. Then the last one we're gonna do is arms at your side and palms down, there. And now we're gonna elevate right in through here. Boom, hold it right into that ballpark as well too. So we've got six different moves there. Um, we're gonna hold them as long as you can. We're trying to really fatigue those muscles. Um, and then what we're gonna practice is, or we're gonna check back on this with everyone in a couple of weeks. If you have posterior shoulder uh, instability, or if you have a hard time uh, with shoulder mobility, this is gonna be a great tool for us to check it out. Uh, for us to check it out. So if you have questions about this, message us below. Uh, until next time, Courtney Morse, Natural Wellness Physiotherapy.